Well, hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. Out and about this morning. Very mild day, it's not too hot. It's quite overcast up there, as you can see. But it's a wee bit of a welcome relief from those very hot temperatures. But I'm going to have a wee chat today to talk about how we tend to think about changing the world or people within it. But you know, that's just an illusion. The only way to change any of these things is to first change ourselves. It doesn't work any other way. A lot of people try to change the people that are around them, try to change their situations, try to change things in the world. But the truth is, which a lot of people don't realise is, in order for things to change, you have to change yourself first. You know, and as the famous spiritual teacher, Dwayne Dwyer said, when we change the things in our mind, we change the things we look at, the things we look at change. Now, I probably just butchered that quote. What are you doing, baby? But uh, it was along those lines, and you can look it up. We can't achieve anything until we change ourselves. When we're in a state of sleep, shall we say, for want of a better term, we are not fully aware of what is the best for us. We think we know what's best for us, but we really don't because we're in a kind of a dream state, illusionary state. But when we change the way we think, the things that we do and the things that we think about change often dramatically. And something that you would do before the change, you absolutely would not do after the change. So it's a very important thing to think about that when we're in this kind of illusionary state, and a lot of the time we're not aware we're in it, we just sort of think, God, things are not working out for me. What is going wrong? We don't actually realize that when we're trying to make things happen, we're actually trying to make things happen and ultimately they're not for our best good. We just think that they are. So it's sort of only when we look inward and heal those things, heal those pains, those differences, those resentments, that's when we will start to think clearer. That's when we'll truly realize what's best for us. Before that, we're living in a state of separation, separation from the world and separation from others and separation from ourselves because we're in a state of this person did that to me or the world is doing this or my boss is doing this or I can't, I can't, I can't. But when we heal ourselves, we're coming from a fresh place to look at the world. We're no longer being held up by grievances. We can now then start to begin to see things clearly in a sleep state, everything is just a projection of the mind or the ego. It makes me think about how a lot of people are into, you know, the sort of manifesting their reality. It's a very, very big thing at the moment on YouTube. You see videos of it everywhere. It's a massive thing. But if you're manifesting from a place of ego or a place of unhealed 
projections, unhealed emotions, it doesn't work. Because the only things you're going to bring into your life is more of the same or even worse. Because you can't have a state of mind that is unhealed or egotistical and bring something really good in from that. You can only bring in something really good from a really good state of mind. And it's what a lot of these manifesting videos don't tell you. They're just telling you to be positive, say affirmations, think your way into whatever you want. When you are healed, you don't need to think your way into anything. Things just naturally align for you because you're in a good place. Come in, Linda. There is absolutely no shortcuts to inner work. No matter what any of these videos try to tell you, you have to heal and do the work. Then you don't even need to manifest. Your head will be clear to focus, to know the right things to do, to make the right decisions because you're coming from a good place, a good place about yourself, your world and others. So don't get caught up in these manifesting videos because you know the old saying, be careful what you wish for. You might just get it and then you find it's the worst thing. When you align with yourself and you heal yourself, you will see that anything outside of that is false because it's an illusion. If you're trying to manifest something into your reality and you are fully connected to your inner self and you're not fully connected, sorry, to your inner self, it will just create anxiety and frustration because you're manifesting from a place of inner pain and it will bring towards you that state of inner pain in other people to keep showing you that you have to heal and then once you heal then you will see a change a lot of people try either to take shortcuts or they don't get that so when we're projecting from a type of sleep state or unhealed state we can't see things properly we can't see what's the best for us or who's the best for us because we're too focused on the pain so there is that famous saying from centuries ago know thyself and there's nothing probably more important that I could tell you in a video than to know yourself. That's the way forward. Every guru, spiritual teacher, advisor worth their salt has said the same thing all through the ages. In a different way, Jesus, Buddha, Gandhi, Mother Teresa, the Dalai Lama, the philosophers, all a different version of know thyself, to do the inner work and that is the road to freedom, the road to peace. Our ego has created a veil, a separation from ourselves and it makes us focus on the outside and we forget to look inward 
your ego will always be telling you it's the job, it's the sister, it's the husband, it's the friend, it's the car, it's the money, it's the world, it's the politician, it's the government. It will always be telling you this when it's none of these things. It's you. And when you change, all of those things will change. And every person has to do it individually. And you cannot change anyone else. It's just ego tricks of the mind to keep you running around with another self-help technique that creates anxiety and doesn't work or maybe will give you relief for a short time but it won't be long term it will come back at some point again the only way through the fog is inner work letting go of the pain resentments guilt shame allowing these things to come up however painful acknowledging them and letting them go then you will see a big difference in your life ask yourself do i want problems or do i want answers so anytime you're facing a challenge look inward and ask yourself these questions the ego cannot answer this question for you your ego can only give you things that are going to go bad it can only bring you answers of the pitfalls or the things that went wrong in the past only your inner self your heart can bring you forward your inner heart and your true self is where the answers are if you allow it to open up It will bring you where you need to go. So until next time, from me and my beautiful girl, have a great day and take care.